hello my beauties welcome back to my channel today it's going to be all about the brides it's all about the gals for some reason i just feel like springtime is the best possible time to get married i just automatically associate it with like i give you paris in the springtime and then of course when i think about fragrances that i associate with being bridal i always think of floral fragrances of course florals are the first thing you're gonna think of when it comes to spring as everything is blooming and blossoming but also it's what i associate with weddings because flowers have been so deeply rooted and connected to romance for centuries and also it's been associated with femininity so these are just some fragrances that i think just exude all of that beautiful innocent feminine feminine bridal energy and these are just fragrances that I think will have you smelling super super angelic on your special day. So the first one of course is a fan favorite, a classic, one that I have had in my collection numerous times. This is actually one of my backup bottles and I have another bottle in my house as we speak, so yeah. <laughs> this is a very, very, very gorgeous, super feminine and innocent and girly vanilla fragrance. Of course it's got vanilla, it's got amber, it's got musk, woody notes, juniper berries, coriander, nutmeg. I am so, so, so obsessed with this one. I love it. Y'all know I've loved it forever. I've included this in so many of my videos, but it's just so feminine. It's so classy. It's so elegant. And I just, I would definitely see a bride wearing this on her special day. This one is definitely the vanilla fragrance for a bride. Like if you want to smell like vanilla on your big day, this is the way to do it in a classy way that doesn't make you smell like a cheap dessert you know what I mean like this is very very sophisticated and I love this one she's a true gem and I will buy her over and over and over and I do but yes that one would be gorgeous gorgeous on a wedding day major compliment getter next up we have another one of my favorites this is one that I always tell you guys is one of my favorite floral fragrances as far and few in between as they are this one is El de Absence by Louis Vuitton which I have shared in another video um, that it means hours of absence in French you see that I even got my name engraved at the bottom you see Zoe Z-O-E um you're allowed to get like three initials but since my name is only three letters you know oh but this is such a sexy smooth classy powdery clean soapy floral fragrance yeah it's just very elegant and sophisticated as i think all of these fragrances are that's how i would want to smell on my wedding day and this one you've got jasmine rose mimosa raspberry vanilla musk and sandalwood oh definitely one of my favorites of all time easily in my top five and definitely one of those scents that i pull out when i want to effortlessly exude a very feminine gorgeous light pretty angelic aura then of course we have the classic delina there's no freaking way i could talk about bridal scents or the fragrances that i would want to consider for a wedding day and not include delina this is the epitome of femininity you have um, rhubarb and lychee in the opening which gives it like this really really unique sense of depth to it you know what i'm saying like it's just very different and that's what made me fall in love with it in the beginning as much as people love delina exclusive and i love it as well don't get me wrong it's an amazing fragrance but this one here is just so unique and so different i find that this one lasts longer i get more compliments on this one than i do with exclusive this is just really really gorgeous the rhubarb is a very like tart note that you experience in the opening and that's what's off-putting to some but i tell people once you get past that once it settles it kind of acts as like an anchor like that sour note gives gives some stability to the fragrance if that makes any sense um and it just keeps it from being a basic level super pretty super girly like it's girly it's pretty it's feminine but it's got some it's got a little kick to it at the same time. It's got a little character, a little personality. She's not just a pretty face, you know what I'm saying? That's what Delina gives through and through and I adore her. I love her so much. You literally could never go wrong with Delina for any occasion, but on a wedding day, absolutely. And if you are the type of person who doesn't like to spend crazy amounts of money on fragrances and have a thousand of three, four, five hundred dollar fragrances, your wedding day would be that one time to really splurge for yourself and get a truly beautiful fragrance that is uniquely yours, that people are gonna smell for decades to come and always associate with you. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. That juicy fruity note with the light florals of the Turkish and Bulgarian rose paired with the peony, like it's just, it's so freaking 
pretty and that's exactly how you want to smell on your wedding day next up we have a fragrance from the exclusive collection by creed this is white flowers oh my goodness when i first smelled this i immediately thought bride like whoever's getting married needs to wear this it's a really nice green floral fragrance oh my gosh but it's so wealthy it just smells like a queen honey it smells like a queen when i smell this i think of someone like angela bassett if you guys have ever seen jumping the broom the character that angela bassett played as the mother on the movie like if you were to take that character and rewind time back to her wedding day this is something that she would reach for like just just wealth like a beautiful gorgeous woman who just doesn't age and she just looks so dainty and feminine and like you know she doesn't lift a finger for anything in the world because the world revolves around her she is just a queen and i don't know like this just gives like royal wedding vibes a hundred percent and i mean not to mention that creed is an english house you know which is the home country to the royal family but it definitely exudes all of that energy and then some the notes on this fragrance are green apple lemon violet leaf jasmine rose geranium musk and sandalwood um, i'm sure that there's you know a couple other notes that i'm forgetting but that's like the basis of it and like i said it's just a beautiful royal green white floral and it's just very pretty very classy and definitely appropriate for a wedding and last but not least this is the fragrance that to me is the bridal scent of all bridal scents this is always my number one recommendation when someone is considering getting married um i know that i said white flowers is like a royal bride but this is like the creed white flowers is a royal bride in the sense of someone having a lot of respect in their community and being treated like royalty but this next fragrance is royalty like someone who's actually a part of the royal family getting married if that makes sense this one is honor by armoire the bottle itself looks like a bride the name sounds like a bride i mean it's called honor for crying out loud it is stunning this is the best execution of white florals i've ever ever smelled in my life it's got some rhubarb in the opening which is very unique y'all know that that's the same thing i pointed out about delina and what i thought made it so special but then in the mid, you've got all of these white florals. You've got jasmine, gardenia, tuberose, lily of the valley, carnation. And then in the base, you've even got like incense and leather. And so it's got lots and lots of depth to it. Lots of things to hang on and give it some beautiful longevity. This is a fragrance that I describe as being subtle, but still a statement. It's not going to project so crazy that people are gagging and you can't comfortably get on a crowded elevator. But at the same time, it's a statement enough to render compliments and get noticed without, like I said, making people be like, ill. Is this a French whore? You know, did you drown in it? Did you swim in the fragrance? So that's what I love about this. It's subtle class. On top of it coming from a house that is literally made by the royal family of Oman, the reason that it is just so royal to me is because of how subtle it is. Because we know that when it comes to class and sophistication, less is always more. And so that's why I feel like this is just such an effortlessly gorgeous fragrance to wear on your wedding day. And that's exactly the kind of um, aura and demeanor that you want to give off anyway. That's why, you know, for bridal looks, you don't see people with glitter on their eyeshadow and, and bright red lipstick. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of those things. But on average, you're seeing people wanting natural glam and just a natural soft looking makeup look. They want their hair pinned up and out of their face. You know, you want to look very subtle and innocent and classy and feminine. Um, and it's not to say that any of those things make you any less feminine. You can wear a black dress, honey. You can wear your hair in a mohawk and you are still gonna be beautiful. But I know that there are a lot of women who are, you know, looking for that traditional wedding vibe and they're looking for a fragrance that they think would be perfect for that setting. And these, I'm telling you, are that and then some. So just trust your girl as always you can always check out my description box below if you want links to know where to purchase any of these items but as always thank you guys so much for supporting my channel for continuing to watch my videos i appreciate each and every one of you and i will see you on the next video love you guys